Good morning, everyone. Uh, today we're going to talk to you about birthdayboys.ie. Uh, it will be myself, uh, Kikra, and Harneet for the presentation. Uh, the reason why we came up with the name Birthday Boys uh, is because uh, it will involve birthdays and kids, boys, uh, exclusive from the age of 5 to 12. And we came up with the domain name.ie because, um, as we all know, internet is the way forward now. And as opposed to having a, a normal name, we want to have a domain internet name so that it can actually it can be very distinctive from other companies. And the concept is very simple. Um, it's it, like I said, really for birthdays. And um, we will go through the uh, presentation and we will include. Uh, from the marketing plan, financial plan, and all of that. And Chitra is going to give you the description of the business now. Good morning, everyone. My name is Chitra. So today we're going to be talking a little bit about the Birthday Boys. a bit more description about the business, how we're looking to implement the changes, to implement new things. So normally, Birthday Boys. Ie is <coughs> we offer birthday parties like services or entertainment to boys of five to twelve years of age. So the reason we've chosen that, we've conducted a market research and we got positive feedbacks of how parents want like, um, to have their kids entertained. They are willing to pay like once a year or twice a year for their kids to have a good time during the birthday parties. So normally it's a home-based entertainment and that's the unique selling point. We go to the customer's house and we get the kids like, entertained for two to three hours and the services normally we'll be covering in Ireland will be Dublin, Kildare and Wicklow. But as the business will grow, as we're expecting, we'll be developing into more locally and internationally. And at the moment, we, are, we have three different packages available on the website. We got the silver, gold and diamond. So again, it depends on the choice of the customers of what they're willing to, to book for and they're willing to pay. For instance, like the silver package, uh, this consists of like, and you got some fingers and cakes for the birthday, uh, birthday guest and birthday boy, and like a regular entertainment. What I mean by regular entertainment is, for instance, if you're choosing the theme like costumes or toys, for example, if someone like superheroes will be coming dressed up, bring costumes of superheroes like you know Superman, Batman, at their house. And the gold package is, it's kind of more elaborate package. This is where you get more, you get a birthday cake, you get bits and pieces like birthday gifts for the boys, for the birthday boys. And also you're going to have like entertainment. Again, it depends again on what type of entertainment the customer would like to have. And last in the diamond package is more similar kind of like the gold package. We'll have basically most everything included, like the gold package. But on the top of that, we have we will have a special entertainment. What I mean by special entertainment is we're going to hire like highly qualified or skilled people. For example, like a magician or like an um, emotional art teacher on that day, if the client is looking for something in that area. And normally, if someone would like to book in or to contact us, they can do either on the website itself. They can register or make a reservation, like they have to give a 50 euro deposit on the website, a 50 euro. And if they want to change the date or the time, they can do so, but they will have to give us 24 hours notice so that they won't be able, they won't be charged any additional charges for that. So well, and um, now I'm passing to Hanit. Okay, good morning everybody. And as you to describe that we're gonna have three different types of packages like the silver package, the gold package, and diamond. So the themes will be based on the packages. Like let's say if the kid wants the costumes, as if the kid likes superheroes, so we'll dress up as superheroes and come to their house and we'll bring the costumes as well. And the games, toys, and like in the diamond package, we are if the kid likes the magicians, we'll hire the magicians, as Shri said. Um, clowns and uh, we'll have Santa Claus when we have the Christmas period so we're gonna include the Santa Claus costumes as well. Now we feel that our competitors and um, they are close to us like Leisureflex, Fantasia and Go Kids Go but their business model is totally different to ours like uh, these three they provide the entertainment like in their own venue they invite the 
and the people who want to have the party, they have to go to the venue and bring all the kids over there. But what we do is our model is totally different. We are going to go to their house with the costumes and everything and we'll entertain the kids there for two to three hours. So that's our like unique selling price. And I'll pass it on to Michelle. And we've conducted a SWOT analysis and impasse analysis to be able to know actually what are the weaknesses and all the strength or threats that can help us to, to be prepared like in ex expected and unexpected circumstances. So the first strength I have in this is new market. Even though Harriet mentioned we have its indirect competitors, we have party organizers, but they are not specialized in the same way as we are like boys. So this is a new market, the market research we've done with conductor, it's definitely a new market we're specializing in. And secondly, very little competitors, like I mentioned again, is we have indirect competitors, they're only doing entertaining parties, but not in that specialized category. And the most important thing is, like I mentioned, it's the unique uh, value proposition. It's boys, birthday boys of age of 5 to 12. This is where we're going to entertain the boys 5 to 12 at home, home-based party. And again, high demand and we don't have anyone, a direct competitor, who is only specialised in that category. And the weaknesses that we will have is when we're going to enter the market, like it's easier for others to copy us, to start doing what we're doing. So this is where we have to react and we will need to prepare ourselves how to beat the competition. And again, attracting competition. And the opportunities is it's a low investment business. We are investing like high level amount of money in that. And we've received positive feedback from clients. Like normally we're using the same model as the little pamper lady, little party and girls that I more specialize in girls only. So what we can do, like we did like we conducted a survey. We got the feedback from their clients who definitely are looking for something specialization in boys or entertainment for birthday boys. And the threats that we are currently we will we might have is the current recession. As people, this will be a tough one because people are not willing to won't be willing to spend much money, they will be very careful. But in that situation, like with our expertise and experience and the feedback we got, we will be able to drive the business through. And negative marketing, what I meant by negative marketing is it depends on how we're going to approach the customers in that target area, what are the style, the systems we're going to use to approach them, and how we're going to provide with the right information to the right target people. And customer turnover, what I meant by customer turnover is the threat will be how we're going to retain customers on a yearly basis. For instance, um, if a parent has only one child, so what can we what can be done like to make that parent come back to us in the same year to do something else to get organised like so this is something we'll be looking at how uh, when we're going to expand the business and the pest analysis is the political um, in the political point of view is we got our authorization from the trade enterprise for the garden vetting authorization because we need that authorization to be able to work with kids in Ireland and got that, so this is the go ahead, got the green light to go ahead with the plan. And the, on the economical point of view is, again, recession time, so the changing lifestyle and the experience, the skills that we have, will be able to drive the business through. And so short is the feedback and research that we got, we got from parents who are looking for this type of service, because sometimes when the birthday is around the corner, the parents don't know what to do, so they know they have birthday boys that are here to help them to organize the birthday. And the, in the technological area, at the moment, we have social media, digital media, which will help us for the marketing plan, which will help to drive the business through, like Facebook or Twitter, for example, these are the, these are the uh, website, media website that will help us to drive the business. Okay. And now the main reason behind us creating this business is that we have experience working with the kids. Like Rasheen was a primary teacher for seven years and Chitra worked in a crest and she was a carer. And myself, I worked as a makeup artist and hairdresser. So we think that we have all the qualities and uh, the core competencies and the process skills to run this business. 
and as we have experience working with the kids, I think it will be easier for us to explore in this business. Um, I'm going to um, tell you a little bit about the financials. Um, at the moment, uh, we've uh, based this pie chart on uh, rent marketing. So this and others, this will be our startup costs, which amounts to 50,000 euro. Um, in others, we'll have wages, we'll have costumes, we'll have um, a lot of fixed costs, um, uh, for example, um, our van. And uh, uh, the rent is based on yearly basis, so this is all in year one. This is how much the business is going to cost, 50,000 euro. And uh, if we have a uh, column here for the um, um, looking at year one, year two, and year three. Um, as you can see, uh, the blue one, that's the um, that's year one, the red one is year two, and then the green one is year three. Our total sales for year one will equal to 72,000 euros. And total sales for year two will be 87,000 euros. And for year three, it will be 105,000 euros. Now, if you look at here, that will be our total costs for those three years running. Our total costs for year one, uh, like I mentioned, it will be 50,000 euros. Um, year one is going to be a bit more expensive than year two and year three because when we start a business, um, it, it, it is it costs more money to actually run the business. And year two, our expenses will not be the same as in year one, and as in year, as in year three as well. Um, all the expenses will kind of differ. So we've estimated that for year two and year three, our expenses. Um, so the cost of running the business would be 40,000 euro. So compared to year one, that'd be uh, 10,000 euro less. Now coming to the net profit, um, in year one we'll have a net profit of 22,000 um, euro, and in year two it'll be 47, and in year three it'll be 65,000. Um, year one, we know that when we start up. When we start business, um, not everything is going to go according to plan. So we have a plan A, a plan B, and a plan C as well. Um, we don't want to fail. We want to be successful, but we want to um, we want to play safe um, in year one. That's why we want to keep. We we don't want to have a, a big figure there because we want to be realistic as well. And in year two, it will be forty-seven thousand euro. Because at this point we will be more um, we will be more used to the market, and we will know the market inside out. We will have more staff working for us. We will try to diminish costs. We will have the experience by them um, to maximize our profit and to maximize the investors' profit as well. And then in year three, hopefully it's going to hit 65, and in year four, year five, it's going to double it without a doubt. Um, our marketing plan now we've. We've, we, we spent uh, some money on the marketing plan because uh, at the moment we know that if you don't have a nice marketing plan your business is going to fail because no one is going to notice you. Uh, Facebook and Twitter, it's Facebook and Twitter, they're all free. Um, so if you want to have your, your, your page um, on Facebook and Twitter, it's going to be free. And we will have a Google Plus account, we will have a YouTube account as well. Now these are all free. Um, we know that digital media, social media, is very, very important. That's why we want to embrace it as much as we can. And now on Facebook, we will have um, paper clicks and in Twitter as well, and on Google as well. So we will have to pay money for that. Um, but it, especially on Google, it will help us for our uh, SEO, so our search engine optimization. Uh, because whenever someone wants to type in keywords in Ireland, we want our website to be right on the very top of the list. And then on YouTube, we will be running our paper clicks as well. And uh, we will use Facebook um, for um, competitions. Uh, what we mean by that is, uh, what we mean by that is, we really want um, our, our customers to actually come to us, um, and we will come to them as well. But, uh, we, we want to increase our likes on Facebook, so by winning competitions, um, people are going to like our page, enter the competition, probably win something, and then their friends are going to do the same. So that's going to accumulate all our likes. 
Um, and then word of mouth as well. And then we want to have a little collaboration with Little Lady Pampo Party Solai. Their target market is girls from the ages of 5 to 12. Uh, we've, talk, we've talked to them and we've said if you advertise your business to your customers, we will advertise our business. Uh, we will advertise our business to you as well. So, uh, so we will advertise our, our customers to you as well. And, uh, uh, managing the enterprise, this is how we're going to manage the enterprise if everything goes according to what we're expecting. We're going to use the pay setting style leadership. What I meant by that is normally we will be like highly motivated um, staff, like the three of us for the time being, really energetic to be able to drive the business. And for example, we set up a task, for example, our task will be to entertain the kids of age 5 to 12 years and to provide a good quality service. So that at the end, we'll have feedback from both the clients and my partners to be able to make the business go through, like in terms of quality, in terms of service and everything. So, um, that's our business really. Yeah. Um, we, we, um, the, um, the business model, the business um, in itself is very unique and it's very simple and uh, we hope you like the model and uh, we'll, we'll make us money and we'll make you money too. So, um, we're ready to listen to office. <laughs> <laughs>